Hey everyone, welcome back to another new video. For over two decades, if you wanted to look something up online, chances are you ended up on one website, Wikipedia. It's a cornerstone of the internet, built by millions of volunteer editors. But now, a new player has entered the arena. From Elon Musk's XAI comes Grokopedia, an online encyclopedia powered not by human volunteers, but by AI. It's just released today, and many people have started to use it. Some people are also saying that this might be the end of Wikipedia. So, what exactly is Grokopedia, and how exactly is it different from Wikipedia? And should you even use it? Well, I will be telling you everything about it. And then, you can figure out whether you should use it or not. So, Grokopedia is an AI-powered encyclopedia created by XAI. The core idea is to use their AI model, Grok, to generate, fact-check, and manage all of the content. This is pitched as a maximum truth-seeking alternative to Wikipedia, with the goal of being faster, more factual, and less biased. One of its key features is its connection to X, formerly Twitter, which allows it to be trained on real-time data. In theory, this means articles can be updated almost instantly as events unfold. At first glance, the layout is familiar, but the philosophy behind it is fundamentally different. Let's break down the key distinctions between Grokopedia and Wikipedia. The first key difference is content creation. This is the biggest difference. Wikipedia runs on a crowdsourced model. Anyone can edit an article, and a global community of volunteer editors enforces policies on neutrality and sourcing. Grokopedia, on the other hand, is all about automation. The AI generates and edits the content. While there's a system for users to submit corrections, you can't just jump in and make an edit yourself. The Grok A, I will check whether your edit is correct or not, and it will change the content of Grokopedia only if it's correct. This makes sure that humans can't do wrong edits of the articles, and it also makes sure that the articles remain 100% unbiased. Pretty cool system, not gonna lie. And thanks to the content being generated through AI, Grokopedia articles gets updated in real time, which makes it faster in providing information to everyone. Now, the second key difference is the question of bias. See, Elon Musk has been a vocal critic of Wikipedia, claiming it to be biased. Grokopedia is his answer, an attempt to build a less biased alternative. Elon Musk has stated that the main goal of Grokopedia is the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. He also said that it will never be perfect, but we shall nonetheless strive towards that goal. As of right now, around a million articles have been generated on Grokopedia with the help of Grok. But it's important to remember that this is very early days. The version that went live is labeled V0.1, and even Musk has said that version 1.0 will be significantly better. Grok will keep generating articles, and the newer versions of Grokopedia will be much better. You can use Grokopedia by going to their website, which is grokopedia.com, and you can start using it. It's open source too. So, what's the verdict? Is Grokopedia better? And should you start using it? Well, the potential of Grokopedia is interesting. An AI that can synthesize information and update articles in real time could be a powerful tool, especially for breaking news. However, the challenges are significant. The risk of AI hallucinations, where the model confidently states incorrect information, is real, and building trust with users will be a major hurdle. Right now, Grokopedia isn't going to replace Wikipedia completely. It's an alternative with a different set of strengths and weaknesses, and it represents a fascinating clash of ideas. The messy, human-led collaboration of Wikipedia versus the streamlined, AI-driven approach of Grokopedia Another huge part why people use Wikipedia is because they find it easy. Wikipedia comes at the top of Google searches whenever you search for something, and as long as it maintains that spot, I think Wikipedia won't face any problems with Grokopedia around. Right now, I think it's better to use Grokopedia side by side with Wikipedia. What do you think? Have you checked out Grokopedia? Do you think AI is the future of encyclopedias? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more on the latest AI tools. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.